All right, g'day there, fellas. Uh, you know, the people on the interwebs. <coughs> I have a... This is a bit of a continuation on the... No, wrong one. Fuck, what am I doing? This is a bit of a continuation on from the first dubstep tutorial. Uh, what I'm going to do is... Briefly go over the second dubstep song I've made called Stepping Back. Give you a bit of a sneak peek of a new trance song that I'm making, which I accidentally loaded now, so don't look at it yet. There it is. And here is this song I made in this tutorial, or in the first tutorial. Funny thing is, someone commented on the tutorial and said, you know, you should put the FLP up online so we can download it and do what we will with it. And I thought to myself, that's a fucking wicked idea. So I proceeded to go to, F uh, to look at my FLP folder. Doobie doobie doo. I'm like, yeah, sick. Can't wait to put it online because heaps of people will be hell stoked about it. I get in here and it's not here at all. At all. <laughs> I'm fucking like, what? What did I do with it? And yeah, it turns out I actually didn't save it at all. I just did the tutorial and then fucking closed everything off and I don't know, probably got drunk and passed out at the park or something. But yeah, so that's that story. So I actually had to watch the tutorial and recreate this song with the tutorial. And it sounds kind of nothing like the song in the tutorial, but it kind of does, so... So it just goes to show that I am a good teacher because I can teach myself. Because I did, you know. But anyways, yeah, this song, uh, I left you with this song. And yeah, I did actually recreate this song. I loaded it as well as you can see so this FLP file is available on Megashare I do believe the link to that website the download link is in the description below so yeah, just you know take a gander below you'll see the description uh, the download link it's the very first link at the very top and then all my writing and bullshit will be added to that oh uh, yeah so just download it it won't have any malicious bullshit on there I guarantee it if it does then there's something wrong with you and you shouldn't be allowed on the internet anyways um, also keep in mind that you do have to have citrus to actually do the dubstep because this uses citrus. Uh, if you don't know if you have it or not, just open up FL Studio, right click on one of these things, go to insert, and if you've got citrus there, then no worries. Now I made this song, oh, well, I made this song a while ago, but I uploaded it a few days ago. Uh, it's called Stepping Back, and this takes... I've actually figured out a fourth method to do dubstep, which I didn't actually show you in the first tutorial, so this is why I'm going to briefly show you guys this and explain it. Oh, fuck you, you fucking stupid Z game. Alright, so this is stepping back here. If you don't know what it is, um, I'll put a little link just here, a little box that you can click on, you can listen to the song. Ow, I just bumped my knee. So yeah, just have a listen to it. This is the start of it. So obviously you can recognise the song if you've already heard it before. Let's just get into the wobble here. Now, press F9, you'll see, see this uh, mixer. And you can see that I've got two citruses here. And they're alternating between the two. Uh, I apologise if the video is out of sync because... Oh, let's... That's just beyond my control. But yes, I certainly have two citruses going on. I've got one Eurogate and one base wobble, which I created. And I did the exact same method that I did in the first tutorial. The first, you know, the base wobble tutorial. I've, I've used, I'm using four operators here. Each one's tweaked, so it makes its own little unique sound. I don't know my controller plugged in, so I'm going to have to use my Gauss keyboard here. And yeah this speed actually does not change and what I've done is I've actually cloned this so to clone a, a plugin you just right click on it press clone and it creates a duplicate of itself same settings same everything it's perfect and what I've done is with the second clone is I've changed the speed and then instead of changing the speed in an automation or as an automation I just use one and then the other and whatever Obviously not like that, I'd you know, go into the piano roll. 
The only problem with this method is that you can't open up more than one instance of the piano roll. So you can't have one piano roll here, have another one here, and like you know compare the two. Uh, to explain this better, if you really don't understand me, I'm going to go to pattern 19, there it is. So yeah. Fuck's sakes. Yeah, don't want to go into that too much. And then, like, you can, from there, you can just do whatever the fuck you want, really. So, pattern 39, maybe? Is it? Yeah. So yeah, that's yeah, quite a handy little method to do your shit. And as you can see there, all the also when you clone something it also allocates it to the same uh mixer channel. Uh if you're wondering what these huge ass automation lines are, fuck off Steam. Uh they're all just for Z game editor, so you don't have to worry about them. They don't do anything to the sound. They got nothing to do with it. But yeah, so that's that. Now let's quickly have a gander at the new trance, trancey dancey sort of song that I'm working on. Now I promise myself that I'm not... Fuck off, Steam. Seriously. I promise myself that I'm not going to release this song until it's 100% complete and I don't want to change it at all. Oh my god, serious? <laughs> um, the problem with that is I really want a vocalist in this song. A female vocalist. Now I have someone in mind that I can use, I just don't have the recording equipment, or money, which kind of sucks, because I really want to get this song done, but I'm just going to show you the first little bit, seriously Steam, fuck off, and yeah, as you can see I've spent a lot of time and effort on this song, let's just quickly have a look at the project info, there you go, ten and a half hours I've worked on this song. wondering what I just did there, um, I increased my buffer length because you can hear that little skipping sound. They're called underruns and that means that your sound card can't keep up with the amount of data that's being told, that it's being told to process. Uh, so you increase your buffer length which stores the data and then processes it when it can and all that sort of shit. The fuck? Why do people have to talk to me seriously um yeah which is why it's highly recommended to use Azure for all because that actually gets your processor your CPU to process the music and you can lower your buffer length a tremendous amount and uh, yeah not have any underruns so yeah, that's that little Bit. I love this part right here. This is my most favorite part of the song. It's amazing. Don't blame me if they get upper runs. <laughs> I 
Alright, so. Clearly I can't show you this. But, uh. Yeah. So that's that song. That's it for the video. Little continuation of the tutorial and a few little tips and shit like that. So, just thought I'd let you guys know. Keep you informed on what's going on. And, uh. Yeah. That's pretty much it. So, farewell for now. Hope you liked it and it was all grand and shit. Yeah. Farewell for now, young ones.